Hey guys, so I just wanted to walk around. This is Leeds, South Dakota. This is outside my grandma's house. Uh, she's inside paying bills, so I figured I would not distract her and just come outside and say hello to you guys. But uh, Leeds is just a funny town. I really, really like it. I'm going to show you down the hill, and I'll show you up this hill later. Um, but uh, this is a town where they, they get like four feet of snow, five feet of snow. Like, like when my grandma says that they didn't get that much snow this year, it means they got about two feet of snow. That's what she's saying, like a light snow is two feet. And this hill right here, my grandma used to like carry my mom up it when she was little, I guess. And it, like there were like three feet of snow. My aunt, my great grandma was like, Marla Laverne, why are you, how do you, I don't know how you do that. As tall, as tall as my legs are. And my grandma's like, well, you don't really, you don't really walk through the snow. You, you swim through the snow. And I don't, anyway. So I was here when I was little, but I haven't lived here since uh, se um, seventh grade. But then we lived in a, like a little less snowy town in, in high, for high school. So here's looking outside my grandma's front window. It snowed um, yesterday and the day before. I have some pictures of like down there from last year before it was cleaned off when like the cars were just like buried in snow and the snow was up like over the cars. I do miss the snow, but I think the two weeks of snow we get while we're home for Christmas um, before going back to the Tri-Cities where it doesn't really snow. Um, it's plenty of snow for me. It's it's pretty, but we don't have to deal with it. It's, it's funny because like when there's big snows, which is like three to five feet, they send like a snow plow through. The snow plow will clear out like just wide enough for ambulances, police trucks, and fire trucks to get through, and um, not anyone else. And so like then after a while, like people will start shoveling themselves out, and that's like a two-hour late start. That's just kind of pretty typical. It happens a lot. Last Christmas we got a four-foot snow while I was here. This year it's only there we go. That's my grandma's house uh, and garden. But this year it's kind of uh, like a light snow. Um, I think they got an 18 inch snow a few days before we came and then like the day we came back they got six inches So it's <laughs> It's funny just to put things in perspective, but I really do love this town It's it's one of my favorite places to be but I was telling my grandma today. I was like grandma. I I Loved being a kid here. I loved playing in the snow I loved like jumping off two-story buildings into like four feet of snow or like six foot snow piles or whatever like I loved that but I <laughs> I'm glad I don't live here as an adult. I'm glad I don't have to shovel. I'm glad my husband doesn't have to shovel. I'm glad that just like all the things that go with being an adult, I don't have to deal with. But also one thing that's cool is you're probably seeing now that we're out of the trees, uh, like the this town, like so Lead or South Dakota and Rapid City, though there's lots of snow and it's really cold, they have about 300 days of sunshine. So like you can see the sun right here. It's sunny, beautiful weather, but it's cold. And so it's really deceiving. Like you can look outside and you're like, oh, it's sunny, it's beautiful out, but it'll be like negative 20 degrees or whatever, you know? So it's it's kind of different. Um, this is, I'm getting to another place. This is, to get to my grandma's house, you have to drive across this like alley intersection, or it's a big street that goes up. It doesn't look that steep right now, but when you're driving across it, you have to drive sideways. And so it's just like a funny, um, a funny thing, but I've gotten stuck like right in between the roads. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. So that's, I don't have good shoes on right now, so I'm slipping down the hill already, but I just have my Keens. They are good, but they're not uh, boots. I didn't bring boots for this trip just cause um, my grandma has boots I can borrow and my in-laws have boots I can borrow. Sorry, there's a car going through the, <laughs> there's another car going up the hill I was talking about. So it's, um, it's also not like people don't drive in this town. It's, um, people do. It's just kind of what you do. There's another snow plow. And lots of people have plows on the fronts of their trucks and their cars and stuff. Or like, it's not uncommon to see a four wheeler go through. There's my grandma's truck again. Oh goodness. I'm gonna try to show you the other hill that, this is where we used to go sledding. So I'm gonna try stop and turn it around. There's a house above my grandma's house and we used to sled from way up there. So that's like a block. And then from my grandma's house all the way down this hill. And you can see a little mound um, right about there. There's another hill um, about t the same height from 
there to the very top that I just showed you. And you go down that as well. And so it's super steep, super slippery. And we get in trouble because we're turning the street into ice, which the street is already like super icy. And you can see that already. Kind of dangerous, crazy. Um, yeah, so this is my grandma's house and her rental below. And she used to own the greenhouse too. She owned like 20 some houses. So it's kind of crazy, but she sold them off and like flipped a few. And um, yeah, I guess that's kind of going back to my grandma's and I'll show you that one last house from up here and then I'm gonna go inside and see if she's done with her bills and medicine and stuff um so I can hang out with her as much as I can but yeah good to see you guys um I'll check in when I get home I probably won't do anything else while I'm here because I do want to spend it with my grandma and I will talk to you guys later okay bye well she is still doing bills but I'm gonna go ahead and put some ice melt on there's an icy spot um this is just gravel and salt mixed together um, this spot gets really bad, and I do not want her to fall on it, because I almost fell on it, and that's no good. I lived in a snowy area. We do um, ice melt, looks like that, and then we do salt, and then gravel as well. And so we just put it on where like the water drips off the house and makes all the ice. So I'm doing that for my grandma, but she's still paying bills, but I'm still going to go back in. There she is doing her bills. She can't hear me. But <laughs> see you guys.